Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we'll be making hydrangea flower painting. So let's begin. So in step 1, let's get ready with the background, for which I am taking white and brown acrylic color. And now mix them together. Just apply it on the corner of the canvas by using flat brush number 12. Now mix white and dark green color. Blend both the colors from the center. It's always easy to blend colors when they are little moist or wet. Don't worry if your blending does not come out perfectly because it's gonna go on the background and very less of it will be visible. Also blend all the colors together by using a large flat brush. If you want me to post a tutorial on few easy techniques of blending colors, then do write in the comment section below. In step 2, we'll make flowers. For that, mark placement of flowers and leaves using a pencil. Take light green color and fill it on the base of the leaf. Also use dark green color for making veins of the leaves. The leaves of hydrangea flowers have these pointed ends, so we will paint that by using a round brush number 0. By following the same method, we will paint all the other leaves. And now take Persian blue color and paint a circle out of it. We don't want a prominent outline to be seen, so just smudge the ends with the help of flat brush. Repeat the same step for the other circles as well. Now let the space dry completely. So usually hydrangea flowers are painted using a filbert brush. These I got from Banggood.com and this set has all the different sizes. But it's not a compulsion to have them, we can very easily paint them using a round brush with a round tip. I'll show a demo by using both the brushes in this video. So now take purple and white color and here as you can see I'm not blending them completely because I want some parts of white and purple to be seen for achieving a natural realistic look. As hydrangeas usually have four petals, so we'll start making them. And now I'm using a round brush for making this flower. So as you can see, we can make this petal by using a filbert and a round brush. Both the effects are same. I have always mentioned that art supplies just make our work more easy. 
and we can always use our basic art supplies for making the same textures and paintings. Now let the first layer of flowers dry completely. You can also use a hair dryer for drying them or let it dry naturally. Now we'll add more amount of white and start making second layer of flour. Also add depth by using dark brown color and blend it by using a flat brush. For the final realistic look, add white flower petals on the top. And now it's ready. I hope you liked today's video and for more such interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Till then take care and thanks for watching.